7.5, number one. Section 7.5 deals with complex fractions and how to simplify them. So this first one that I picked out doesn't have any variables at all in it, so it's a nice one to start with. And I'm going to show you two different methods to do it. When you have a complex fraction like that, one method is to think of this fraction bar as a division symbol. Right, just like if you had 10 over 5, that's really the same as 10 divided by 5. We can think of it the same way with a complex fraction. And um, what we're going to do for the first method is change the division into multiply by the reciprocal. And then the second method, we're going to use a com completely different way of doing it. We're going to multiply the top and bottom fractions by the LCD of the two fractions. And then um, for the rest of the video clips I show, I'm going to only use method one because I've found that that's the preferred method for most students. But anytime you feel like you prefer method two or you would just like to see method two for one of the problems I do out, um, just ship me an email or something and let me know and I can do it out with method two also. All right, so method one. Change the fraction to division and make it multiply by the reciprocal. Alright, so we have minus one-fifth divided by one-fifteenth. So we're going to change that into minus one-fifth times the reciprocal of the bottom, 15 over one. And after that, we just do our canceling and multiply across. So divide by five, divide by five, multiply across, we get minus three over one or minus three. So that's the first method. Method two. Let's do the exact same problem. Minus one-fifth over one over fifteen. The LCD of five and fifteen is fifteen. So I'm going to multiply the top by fifteen and the bottom by fifteen. Then I cancel. Divide by five, divide by five, divide by fifteen. Those are gone. Multiply across the top, we get minus 3 over 1. So the answer is minus 3 again. Alright, so both methods will give you the exact same answer. And like I said, I'm going to be doing method 1 for the remaining problems in this section. So let's look at 7.5, number 4. All right, again, we have a complex fraction. And think of this as a division symbol right here. So we're going to turn it into the top multiplied by the reciprocal of the bottom. 9b to the fourth c cubed over 7b multiplied by, flip the second one, or the bottom one, c squared over 3b c to the fourth. And then we do our canceling. And let's see, we've got two B's on the bottom, four up top. So that means I can cancel two and cancel two of these, and I'll be left with two. And the three goes into the nine. Divide by three leaves me a one. Divide by three leaves me a three. For the C's, I have a total of five on top and four on the bottom. So I can cancel all four on the bottom and cancel those three and one more. And you can also do that out by doing the exponent rules if you prefer instead of doing the shortcut cancel method. And once we've done all the canceling, we look to see what's left. We have three b squared c over just a seven. And that's the answer there. And one more. That was number four. Let's take a look at number six. So we have sort of the same thing here. Complex f fraction, but the difference is that the top fraction is made up of two different terms. And whereas before, it was just one fraction, top and bottom. So the very s first step when we have something like this is make it so that you have one fraction, top and bottom. Make one 
fraction top one fraction bottom our bottom one already is just one fraction but sometimes you're going to have it where the bottom one is two separate fractions also and after we do that we're going to change division to multiply by reciprocal and then we're going to cancel and multiply All right, so let's go ahead and do it. The top one, if we want to make one fraction, think of the five as five over one, and we have an LCD of x. So this one needs to be times x, top and bottom, and that gives us six take away five x over x on top, all over, and just keep this one as it is, 6 minus 5x over 6. All right, step two, we're going to change this division right here into multiply by the reciprocal of the bottom. So we have the numerator, 6 minus 5x over x, times, flip the second one over, 6 over 6 minus 5x. Now we can cancel. 6 minus 5x is gone multiply across, and we get our final answer, 6 over x. All right, and just let me know if you want to see any of these done out with method 2 or any other problems in the homework.